This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We are here for you. Good evening, I'm Haley Wilkes. Thank you for joining us tonight. Our top story this evening, new developments in the deadly terrorist attack at a concert in Manchester, England last night. Authorities revealing the identity of the man they believe is behind the bombing. ABC's Ariel Reshef is in Manchester with the latest. The spirit of Manchester and the spirit of Britain is far mightier than the sick plots of depraved terrorists. Police and Interpol on the hunt for possible accomplices in the deadliest terror attack on British soil since 2005. Every explosive device has some degree of signature or some telltale uh, uh, aspect to it. Police believe he detonated his suicide bomb outside an Ariana Grande concert <laughs> just as the show let out. Authorities zeroing in on this suburb of Manchester, arresting a man neighbors say is the terrorist's older brother. The bomber, 22 year old Salman Abedi, identified on the front page of the London Sun tabloid as pure evil. Born in Manchester, Abedi is the son of Libyan immigrants. A college dropout, he was once one of almost 500 young men known to British authorities as possible terrorists. MI5 were aware of him, they were aware he posed a potential threat. But they didn't think he posed the imminent threat that he obviously proved himself to, to do. The neighborhood where he lived considered to be a hotbed of ISIS recruitment, just three miles from the arena. Manchester remaining defiant in the face of terror. Throughout the city, signs of unity, complete strangers offering hugs and encouragement to one another. Makes you scared at first, but you just realize you can't let fear win and you get on with it. British Prime Minister Theresa May upgrading the threat level here in the UK to critical, the highest level. That means the army could be out patrolling civilian areas in order to free up police to pursue terrorists. Ariel Reshef, ABC News, Manchester, England. And here at home, Governor Rick Scott began today's state cabinet meeting in Tallahassee by asking for a moment of silence in response to last night's attack in Manchester. Scott says the suicide bombing there immediately reminded him of the Pulse terror attack in London nearly a year ago. In Orlando, excuse me. My heart goes out to everybody that was impacted by this. I remember back to the Pulse terrorist attack and those 49 lives that were lost and um, talking to those families and you, you just... You hope this, uh, you're just sorry that these things happen. So I hope this doesn't happen again anywhere in the world. The Manchester suicide attack is the worst terrorist event in Great Britain since the London subway bombings in July of 2005. Topping our local news tonight, Northport's Human Rights Ordinance took center stage at tonight's commission meeting. There's a push to revise the current ordinance to specifically include more classes of people. ABC 7's Rick Adams sat in on that meeting and has more tonight. Well, the discussion on the human rights ordinance here certainly brought out a lot of people. There's concern that an amendment to this ordinance would do more harm for folks than help them. Many folks came to the Northport City Commissioners meeting Tuesday night to have their voices heard inside City Hall and outside, which included members from the ACLU. A revised human rights ordinance would change the language on who the ordinance would protect from individuals to citizens. We think that's uh, short-sighted and that it provides more narrow protections than Title VII under federal law and the Florida Civil Rights Act. Also, 4% of all active duty military are not citizens of the United States. When it came to decision time, commissioners agreed to not change that portion of an amended ordinance, keeping the language with the word individuals. It is an issue because everyone wants to be treated fairly. I mean, I think at the core of every person that we want to be treated equally, and we want our city government to treat us equally. A big part Part of this human rights discussion did focus on adding specific classes of people to the new ordinance based on sexual orientation, marital status, or creed, just to name a few. There are also changes planned to update language throughout the ordinance and include veterans and pregnant women in that language, where it was originally omitted in the 2015 version of the ordinance. The commission just wanted to, to add some folks who, who weren't involved with the human rights ordinance. There was no intent to certainly take away rights from anybody. Northport City Attorney says Sarasota County does not have a human rights ordinance. On Tuesday night, city commissioners voted in favor of taking the next step in amending the current ordinance. And a finer tuned version of this will come before commissioners in the near future. Reporting from Northport, I'm Rick Adams, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. 
Thank you, Rick. The dry weather and drought conditions are prompting stricter water restrictions in southwest Florida, including three counties on the Sun Coast. The Southwest Florida Water Management District voting today to increase water restrictions to phase three. This affects 16 counties, including Sarasota, Manatee, and Charlotte counties. Under the order, lawn watering is reduced to once a week. Watering hours are also reduced. There are some limits now also on washing your car. The restrictions will main, remain in effect until August 1st. And these dry conditions also leading to an extension of the burn ban that is currently in effect in Manatee County. The burn ban will now be in effect until the end of next Tuesday, May 30th, but could be extended if necessary. The burn ban was initially enacted on April 25th. Burn bans are also in effect in Sarasota and Charlotte counties. But there is a chance, Bob, that we are going to get some help with that dry weather. Yeah, they may review that too after uh, tomorrow's event. Uh, really, up to two to four inches of rainfall statewide uh, for us, maybe lesser amounts, but still not too bad considering uh, what we've seen over the past several months. This is a large area of rainfall. Notice the lightning strikes out here. It looks rather impressive, but as it gets closer to us, it weakens, and that's a result of the warm water out here in the Gulf of Mexico. It's using some of that energy to fire off the bigger storms. This is just a little piece of energy headed our way. It may hold together. It will bring us a few showers possible throughout the mid-morning and early morning hours, but for the time being, uh, these showers are weakening as they approach the coast. And uh, the distance fr from these uh, storms, not that... Uh, uh, not uh, all that far. They're about oh, uh, 100 miles or so just off to the west of us right now. It would take several hours before that were to reach our coastline. We do have advisories already up. Now, right now, there is a coastal flood watch. That's in effect through Wednesday and uh, actually and into Thursday morning. And we can see tides running about one to two feet higher than normal. On top of that, a small craft advisory in effect and a rip current advisory in effect for area beaches as a result of the storm system, which will be here mainly tomorrow night. Winds will be picking up, though, throughout the day. Well, much more on that coming up in a few minutes. Haley. Thank you, Bob. New tonight, a three-year-old girl is in the hospital after she was hit by a car in Bradenton. Troopers with the Florida Highway Patrol say two teenagers were driving south on Hubble Road near Pine Street when the girl ran into the road in front of the car. She was taken to All Children's Hospital, where she is in stable condition. A Northport man is facing charges after his eight-year-old daughter called 911 when he fell asleep in the car and wouldn't wake up. Deputies with the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office were called to Washington Loop Road after Stephen Segrew's daughter told dispatchers he had been drinking and drove without his headlights on in Punta Gorda. She says he pulled over and fell asleep. After failing a field sobriety test, Segru was arrested. He's now been charged with driving under the influence, neglect of a child, resisting an officer, and other charges. His court date is set for next month. The parking lot of the 10th Street boat ramp will be closed through Thursday morning as crews repave the lot. It will be closed beginning just before midnight tonight until noon on Thursday. The boat ramps will also be closed. The city is asking for all trailers and vehicles to be removed from the area. The repaving is one of many improvements being made to Centennial Park. Over the last three months, all four boat docks have been replaced. Crews are also dredging the nearby boat basin, removing built-up silt to improve the health of Sarasota Bay. Straight ahead, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your full forecast and an update on those approaching storm systems. Plus, President Trump's proposed budget unveiled on Capitol Hill, what he's proposing be cut and what would receive more funding. And in Tallahassee, what bills Governor Rick Scott has now signed into law. Across America with mega jackpots, it's mega millions. Hello America, I'm John Crowe. It's Tuesday, May 23rd, and tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is an estimated annuitized $50 million. To win that jackpot, you must match these five white balls plus that gold mega ball. Now, let's see if I can make you a millionaire tonight. Our first winning number tonight is 33. That's followed by 6. Up next, we have 17. Your next number is 16. Your final white ball for this Tuesday evening is... 13. Now for the Mega Ball. Tonight's Mega Ball number is 14. Again, tonight's winning numbers are 33, 6, 17, 60, 13, and the gold Mega Ball is 14. If no matches lost six numbers, Friday's jackpot could be $58 million. Good luck in Play On America. I love big bling for little Ching. That's why I only wear Spectralite Diamonds from Creative Gems, or I wear nothing at all. 
I am powerful beyond my wildest imagination. I will define my future. I will keep challenging myself to improve. Because I am a future leader of this great nation. I will make a difference in my community. I will not settle for simply chasing my dreams. I will achieve them. Because I was given a chance. An opportunity. At Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. The ultimate leadership experience. Join us. We'll build a new future together. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is rated the safest and most dependable automotive brand. And all Subaru models with EyeSight are a 2017 IIHS top safety pick. Right now, you can lease the most award-winning small SUV, a new Subaru Forester, for just $209 a month. Or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Celebrate and salute our heroes during the Memorial Day clearance and pay no interest for 48 months with same-day pickup or next-day delivery. The special purchase Florida-styled bedroom group, now $5.99, with a matching three-drawer nightstand free. The special purchase dual reclining sofa, now $4.99. And this special purchase Serta Queen Perfect Sleeper Set, now $3.99. Exclusively at the Furniture Warehouse in Sarasota, Bradenton, Venice, Port Charlotte, and Ellington. And save big. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Don't hate me because I'm blingable. Get your bling on with affordable Spectralite Diamonds exclusively at Created Gems and Gold and Silver where you always get big bling for little ching. Bob, looking at that radar, is pretty significant, the systems that are moving this way. Right. Uh, this first one, though, is not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's weakening. It may not even bring us any rainfall wow. overnight. Okay. There's a slight chance for showers with it. Uh, it's the one following it that it promises to bring some pretty big thunderstorms and even the possibility of severe weather our way. Nothing like that today, though. Barb Wilson getting this one from Venice. A few fair weather cumulus clouds around earlier today. A little bit of sunshine. Uh, just enough to warm things up one degree above average. This coming from near the Venice jetty there. Again, Suzanne sending this one in, or Susanna sending that one. Appreciate those photos. Keep them coming. Uh, tomorrow, not much sunshine out there as a result of uh, a couple of systems, really. This is an area of large area of rainfall. And again, you'll notice the heavier storms out there exploding out there near the Gulf Loop current where water temperatures are much warmer, aiding these storms and causing the lightning strikes. But once they start to push toward the coast, they weaken. You can see that one just pretty much fades away as it heads into the northeast. So the energy is still out there. There's not much uh, near shore here as far as uh, intense storms go. And I don't expect anything overnight in terms of heavy weather. We could see a shower here or there and maybe uh, one or two lightning strikes, but not a lot. The other piece of energy is way back here in Louisiana and Texas. This is the one that will bring a squall line our way, and it looks like the squall line will be here sometime around 7 o'clock in the evening on uh, Wednesday, and that will continue to move through up until around 10 o'clock, and then the actual cold front moving through in the early morning hours on Thursday. That's still the plan right now, and the uh, Storm Prediction Center giving us a slight risk for the potential for severe weather. Puts us at about 15% chance of some uh, thunderstorms that could produce severe weather, damaging winds, and there's always a possibility of an isolated tornado, a little spin up of a water spout that could make its way on shore and cause some damage. So we'll keep an eye on that. Currently at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport, we have some clouds around. It's 81 degrees. It's very warm. Temperatures are not going to drop much from this temperature right now. The dew point is at 74. Winds are out of the south southwest at 16. One thing we will get is a lot of strong winds, regardless of how much rainfall. We are going to see the winds really peak up, uh, pick up at around. 
20 to 25 miles an hour throughout the day tomorrow. The high was 88, the regular high, the normal high at 87, and the record 96 set in back in 1959. And we had a lot of rain at the airport, at least, and near there uh, so far for the month. For the year, we're still five inches below average. Wind is, uh, will be strong, as I mentioned, out of the south, southwest. It will pile the water up along the area beaches. So we do have a, a high surf advisory as well as a rip current advisory, small craft. You should not be boating over the next, uh, it looks like, 48 hours. It's going to be tough going out there. Seas will be uh, running high. And on top of that, there's always the potential for uh, rip currents. And a lot of surfers usually go out there and check out the waves in this kind of situation. So make sure there's a lifeguard present and you are swim with a buddy because if you get caught in a rip current, it can be extremely dangerous and life-threatening. You want to swim parallel to the beach, uh, getting out of the rip current and get back to shore. Scream and yell as loud as you can, too, to get some help out there. 84 degrees by midday. A few showers around, but the rough weather, if it were to come, would be, again, around 7 o'clock up until 9 o'clock in the evening. Uh, that's what we're looking at right now with that energy pushing through. The train of watch, which had been in place over the southeast, has since expired. And in Dallas and near that, we have some uh, showers, heavier storms there. Now, the RPM forecast model showing generally partly cloudy skies tomorrow. This is through 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then notice what happens. By uh, midday, we get a few showers, but the line itself turns intense uh, by 7 o'clock and takes until about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock to get out of here. So we'll keep an eye on it uh, for you as we make our way through the day tomorrow, and we'll give you updates, updates as they become available from the National Weather Service. There's the marine forecast, uh, bad boating weather through the next uh, few days there. In fact, right on through midday Thursday. Uh, tides upcoming, 1231. That's the next high tide. The important tide will be 1129 tomorrow morning, too, as those winds and seas will be up. A uh, slight chance for a few scattered showers overnight tomorrow. Uh, but some clouds in the morning, a slight chance for a few morning showers with the best chance late in the day. They extend the forecast. Morning showers on Thursday. Most of Thursday should be okay. Cooler, breezy, and that's nice. Mid-80s for highs on Friday. And we go back to sunshine and warm weather on the weekend. Haley? Thank you, Bob. While Donald Trump continues his tour around the Middle East, in Washington, his first budget has been delivered to Capitol Hill. It includes a big boost to military spending and a billion dollars to start building his promised border wall. The budget also includes more than $3 tr trillion in spending cuts over 10 years. To get there, it guts anti-poverty and safety net programs with an $800 billion cut to Medicaid and more than $190 billion cut from food stamps. Economists claim the cuts will pay for themselves while spurring economic growth. In Tallahassee, Governor Scott signing 16 bills into law today. They include helping victims of human trafficking by creating guidelines for the Florida Department of Children and Families to better coordinate services. Another law reduces registration fees for boats that are equipped with several safety features. And a third law would provide free annual state park entrance passes and 50% discounts on campsite fees for foster families and those who adopt children with special needs. And Governor Scott will be on the Sun Coast tomorrow to visit an aerospace manufacturer in Sarasota. Scott is expected to discuss job growth at Honeycomb Company of America on Limbus Avenue. He will hold a press conference at that location around 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Attorney General Pam Bondi is working with the Federal Trade Commission to crack down on debt relief scams that are reportedly still stealing millions of dollars. Bondi obtaining, Bondi obtaining a court order to halt the operations of 11 companies linked to these scams. The companies convince consumers to pay for services to settle or obtain dismissals of debts and improve their credit. The victims say after paying for these services, they found their debts were unpaid, their accounts were in default, and their credit scores were severely damaged. Some victims had to declare bankruptcy. The Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services has discovered hackers have the names of more than 16,000 Floridians who have concealed weapons permits. The agency says there was a data breach of the online payment system that processes fees for applications and permits. No financial information was obtained, but the agency believes the breach originated overseas. Local gun shop owner Francis Missentone says this issue should have been more carefully monitored. It's a shame that we always are playing behind the ball. We, we don't lead the leaders in it. We always say, oh, we should have done this, and then they do catch up afterwards. So the thing is, let's, let's think about everything that could happen and try to prevent it before it does. 
The breach may have also revealed social security numbers of nearly 470 customers. Those affected will be offered free credit protection for up to a year by the agency. Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam is ordering a review of the department's cyber security measures. Sports is next, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel. Tonight, U2 is here on the 30th anniversary of the Joshua Tree, one of my very favorite trees. The Alfa Romeo Quadrifolio charmed us all and crippled the competition. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. I'm calling in regards about my mother, and I'm here, and I just want to thank you because it saved my mother's life yesterday. And I'd like to know the names of the people that came in and saved her. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you. With Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-962-4112. That's 1-800-962-4112. Call now, 1-800-962-4112. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. Come on in, welcome to our pet. Trust me, folks, you'll eat for bed. I'm driving so relaxed. And why leave your bunk? It's all behind you, ready to blow your mind. In Batesville, don't be shy. Come and make the scene. Catch the crazy party inside. The hipsters here are gone. And dig, man, they're on to something big. Yeah, they're gonna flip your wig in Batesville. Catch the gig in Batesville. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Alfa Romeo got a lot right with the Julia, but the handling alone is sufficient reason to get one. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Now, sports. The Rays looking to even up their series against the Los Angeles Angels tonight at the Trop after losing last night. Top of the first, the Angels build their momentum early with this solo home run by Cameron Maben to bring the Angels up by one. Next batter, Mike Trout, backs it up with another solo homer. Now to the top of the eighth, the Angels still up 2-0. Luis Valbuena with an RBI single that allows Trout to score. Same inning, Cole Calhoun hits a sack fly and Albert Pujols gets the run. Angels win 4 nothing. The Atlanta Braves are one step closer to moving their spring training operations to Northport. Today, Sarasota County Commissioners unanimously approving an operating agreement for this deal. The deal includes spending $22 million in tourism taxes to help pay for the stadium and facilities. Now the commissioners have approved the agreement, West Villages can apply for $20 million in state grant funding for stadium costs. 
The West Villages is providing the property and infrastructure for the Braves facility. The development in Northport has until July 1st to apply for that funding. The 2021 Super Bowl is coming to Tampa. NFL owners deciding to move the game from Los Angeles to Tampa after weather related construction delays in California. Owners voting unanimously today to give the February 2021 game to Tampa and have the Rams and Chargers new home. That's what's under construction and that is what is delayed. They will host the 2022 Super Bowl. This will be the fifth time Tampa has hosted the Super Bowl. The last time was in 2009. It's not the only change the NFL is making today. Also some changes being made to the game itself. Any game that goes into overtime will now be shortened to 10 minutes after coaches discuss some concerns over exhausted players and increased risk of injuries. The NFL also wants to put some flair back into celebrations, allowing players to use the football as a prop, celebrate as a group and roll around on the ground if they so choose. The league will continue to penalize any celebration that is deemed offensive. Now to the Stanley Cup playoffs where the Pittsburgh Penguins are looking to advance to the final for the second time in a row. The Penguins in Ottawa facing the Senators in game six, leading the series three to two. Straight to the second period, a scramble for the puck as the Penguins' Trevor Daly swipes it into the goal. The Senators actually challenge that play, though, for the goaltender interference, and the goal is waved off. It only takes the Penguins another two minutes to get on the board with a goal from Evgeny Malkin. The Senators tie it up during a five on three power play with a goal by Bobby Ryan and the Senators go on to win this one two to one and they do force a game seven which makes it that much more exciting right that's look at sports we'll have tonight's lotto numbers right after this. That is a pretty good breakfast you're not even eating not hungry no why not what's up. Kath and I knew that Jenny had been partying a bit. Found out she tried heroin. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. It's no small wonder anybody loves it all. I just love art that moves me. No smile. I mean, really moves me. Wow. Sunset Fiat of Sarasota presents No Small Wonder. High performance style. Let the art of Fiat move you. With all the furniture choices you have, where do you shop? How about Bacon's Furniture and Bedding? Now available in Sarasota. Treat yourself to a new Beauty Sleep Queen mattress set starting at only $3.99 and save up to $800 off an adjustable base with your mattress purchase. Find huge Memorial Day discounts of up to 70% off throughout our showroom with hundreds of items ready for immediate delivery. It's the Memorial Day sales event going on now at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding. Available now in Sarasota. Nobody beats Bacon's. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything, or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here. At the Wannabe Inn, on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC7's Good Morning Suncoast.
It's Lincoln's summer sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $249 per month or 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US-41. Some officers in Michigan have a new vehicle in their fleet, but this one is not aimed really at improving safety, although it sort of is if you pay attention. It's actually an ice cream truck. The Oak Park Public Safety Department revealing Operation Ice Cream Truck. Safety officers will deliver 300 ice cream sandwiches per week in different neighborhoods and at city events during the coming months. City leaders say this is a fun way for officers to connect and engage with the community, and it's a really good one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think we need that in Florida because it's yeah. really even hotter than in Michigan. Yeah, for think sure. about last week it was 99, 100 degrees at times. Unreal. Yeah, it looks good. A great pro a program to help yeah. out, you know, inter engage with the community. That's what uh, needs I mean, to happen. We are looking at some showers and storms tomorrow, so keep your umbrellas handy throughout. And we'll, Bob will keep you updated yeah. that on Facebook, so follow there.